Hello everyone, it's Brandon from the Pilot Stud channel and welcome back to your latest Microsoft Flight Simulator news roundup. As always, there is plenty to talk about today, from the latest releases to upcoming updates. But before we talk about all that, do be sure you subscribe to my channel. We are getting so close to 30,000 subscribers. I know, it's a massive number. And to celebrate that, I will be running a massive giveaway, but only once we hit that giant number. So you know what you need to do if you have not done already. On that exciting note, let's get right into the sim news. As we approach the end of April, Sim Update 15 gets closer and closer. In spite of a few delays, April the 30th is the expected release date for this optimization focused update. Now as with most sim updates, most of the improvements are behind the scenes with hundreds of bug fixes and performance improvements, hopefully resulting in a tangible improvement in the user experience. That being said, I have had a go with Sim Update 15's beta, and I certainly cannot say I had a noticeable improvement in my Sim's performance, but with most updates in the past, when I've used the beta, the outcome is usually very different compared with the final build, with the final build being a lot better, so hopefully that's the experience I'll have. Now the other selling point of this update is the Inibuilds Airbus A320 version 2, which is a free rebuild of the Airbus A320 Neo, although it will be standalone. Again, a victim of some delays, it looks like we'll finally be getting this high quality upgrade of the A320 at the end of this month. Now, I have tried this out before because it is sort of floating around on the beta and I was really impressed. It's definitely not up there with the Phoenix A320, but for free, it is an awesome improvement in terms of systems and textures especially. A big thank you and well done to all involved in updating Microsoft Flight Simulator. It is a colossal effort. Now for vintage Warbird fans, the Hawker Hurricane by Aeroplane Heaven is incredibly close to release. As the team have put it, this will be available for the sim very soon. Now we will be getting the Mark 1 variant of the Hawker Hurricane. It will be payware and in this package you'll also get the Sea Hurricane and the Tropical version as well. Uh, so if you're with the Sea Hurricane and you plan on operating this aircraft off aircraft carriers, all I'm going to say is good luck. That sounds difficult. This is a PC release initially, but the team do aim to get this on Xbox, and they are also working in the iconic Avro Lancaster. Moving on to the modern day, Aerosoft have released Oslo's Gardamon Airport at a price of just over 20 euros. Now I know that's quite steep for an airport, but as you can see on the screen, it really is exquisitely crafted. But the thing that stuck out to me is how well this airport performs on my computer, which is by no means a supercomputer. This large airport is so smooth on my system, while the airport retains such high spec details inside and out. It's very impressive, with animated hangar doors, dynamic lighting and sounds, airport terminal interiors and local surroundings. Aerosoft have hit the nail on the head with this release. It's an airport that already has a fantastic freeware version available as well as competing payware but Aerosoft's is certainly a strong contender. Next up in their airport lineup will be Frankfurt Airport so if it's anything like this keep a good eye out for that one because this is bloody awesome. Now, a new weather engine has been released for Microsoft Flight Sim on PC. Now, many long-term flight simmers may be familiar with it. It's High Fly Sim Tech's Active Sky. This is a weather engine that comes in at a rather affordable price of €23, Euros, excluding tax. So here in the UK via Just Flight, um, it comes in at a price of £24, including tax. Now this software blends with the Sims weather engine to inject your sky with more realistic weather, from more accurate cloud formations to enhanced air effects such as clean air, turbulence and thermals. Now I haven't tried it out myself yet. 
but at his price point I probably will because it's a great deal in my opinion in spite of the slightly old fashioned looking design. It also includes some quite interesting features such as the ability to pull in historic weather data into your float sim, Navigraph and Simbrief integration and of course a collection of pre-made weather presets. It looks good but have you tried out Active Sky? Let me know in the comments. Now the Bluebird Simulations team have released yet more previews of their upcoming Boeing 757 for Microsoft Flight Sim. To remind you all that not that I need to, this is payware for both PC and Xbox. And this time we get some very nice photos of the aircraft sat at the gate with some ground services. Of course there's not too much to say here aside from the fact you can see all the correct placement for all the surface vehicles as well as many doors wide open in the right places. On the screen we are seeing the 200 variant of the 757 as the 300 variant is about 7 meters longer with 4 main doors. It's looking really good in the Condor Thomas Cook livery. We will however be getting both variants of the 757 so the 200 and the 300 in a passenger configuration and then down the line we will also be getting a cargo variant. It's all very exciting and it is still the aim of the Bluebird Simulations team to release the 757 within this year, despite all the work they are doing on the Boeing 767. Of course, somewhat similar aircraft when you type rated on the 757 as a pilot, it normally goes along with the 767 because they are such similar aircraft, although the 767 is of course the bigger option there. And finally, the Just Flight Piper PA38 Tomahawk will be released within the next few days for PC and Xbox. It's an aircraft I've started speaking about more and more recently as this aircraft has progressed on. Final testing is now occurring and this means the old school training aircraft you will see on your screens will be gracing our virtual skies very shortly. It's slightly infamous uh, for the fact that this aircraft likes to spin somewhat easily especially when compared uh, to other conventional Cessna training aircraft. But I'm sure many of you will be looking forward to flying it in the sim because I know some of you in the comments have done quite a bit of your flight training on this aircraft. On that note guys, that's all we have time for today. I really hope you've enjoyed this flight sim news video. Over the next month, I'm going to try and focus on more sim content, not just talking about the news. So hopefully that will go down a treat. But I hope you can walk away from this video with plenty of flight sim news in your head. On that note, thank you so very much for watching it's always an honor i'll see you all soon bye bye